go ahead with this again. Uh, my talking isn't great, but these are all on my list. And since this is going so well and the signal is going very well out here on this Wi-Fi, okay, I'm going to make sure I have a distance here so you can see where my hands are so I can demo this. And we're going to do about the other kind of thing, the walk, which I showed on some warehouse floor. And I think if you want to do a push-up, it's not perfect. I like to be on the on the toes of boots. You can do it bare feet, but then the idea that you can walk sideways. And then if you're not, your back isn't totally straight, you know, like planking, you have to have your legs bent a little bit when you walk. And then there's this idea of where how you be able to move your feet when changing around, you know what I mean? But uh, So this, for this, that's why I say you can do push-ups like this. Don't worry about that shit. Uh, oh, gotta keep your back straight and all that, because there's going to be a lot of walking involved too. Which um, you want to do some planking for starters, and then uh, I think the first stage you may want to lean this way, and lean this way. Just keep doing that. And then um, not just do full-blown push-ups. Well, for one thing, I like to do it up on a set of bricks or something so I can do this. And just stay stretched like this for like a really long time. Then come up, then hold it. But then you lean this way and then lean that way. And then what I like to do is since when you're doing so many push-ups, you're going to want to collapse, like your back wants to collapse. I think uh, going like this, a version of the Persian push-up is a good thing because you want to be in the habit of not like your vertebrae is going to start collapsing and going against each other when you can only do so many push-ups. Do them like, go like this. For, I'll do a bunch, a whole, a whole session of this. Hold it. And then back down. You do it with your legs spread apart. And then even just allow yourself to be in a cobra pose. Do a bunch of push-ups in a cobra pose. You, you can just do a whole session of just push-ups with the cobra pose, and you're going to be feeling that shit. Do it all kind of different ways. People do push-ups like this. Anyway, like this. Yeah, because you want to keep uh, everything flowing that way. Then you're gradually able to just lift your hands up and then down, up and then down. When you're first, you know, getting used to this, you may want to do it quick before you can do the actual walk. Then you just a whole bunch of that then a separate session don't do a whole push-up do a, a whole session of this how many you can do and just just this a whole session but then gradually you know why you do just not but sessions of this then you can jump <laughs> do a hit, hit. Like before I maxed myself all up, I made a whole bunch of these videos. I had a whole video which I did a whole bunch of jumps. You know, if you do whole set, you'll be able to eventually do that. But I'll show you that another time because I maxed myself out right away uh, doing all the other stuff. But then, but then gradually, you know, you do all of this. Then that's how you're eventually going to be able to do a full blown walk. But. When you're first learning to do it, just one step this way, and then one step back. One step this way, then one step back. One step this way, and then one step back. And just maybe one day, do not much sessions of that. Then maybe the next day, you might want to venture into doing a walk. Two steps, and then two steps. Two steps, and then two steps. And then you might want to go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, or one, okay, here we go, it's going to disappear from the camera, 
one, two, three, four, five. And then go to this position. One, two, three, four, five. And then back to the middle. Then you might want to pick one of your favorite songs to do this to. Then that's just, I'm just trying to break this down. Everything you see here, these little things, do sessions of nothing but that. And then it all comes together. That's how you're able to do it. And then uh, a couple of videos I have, you can walk all the way to the other end of a warehouse. And you need that endurance on bare cement because if you're somebody my size, and uh, there's a lot of reasons to put it that way. I don't want to get into it. But uh, to give everybody a wrong idea. And uh, but somebody might try to say and report me because of it. But, it's, but it's, yeah, it's not any fun. It's your God-given right to uh, hone some skills uh, for whatever reasons, you know. But people, look, they don't think that you could. But, uh, but then put it that way, you're kind of at a workplace, you're delivering it like a newspaper. And uh, people don't like it, but uh, it's kind of, you know, have to, if you're not on steroids or be some, uh, somebody else that's out there always better than you, you want to have something else in your pocket that people don't know about, you know what I mean? But, or training for American Ninja Warrior or whatever the hell. But, but anyway, this is all in steps. Each Do each of these things in sessions. Don't uh, confine yourself to just the push-up. Uh, you do half push-ups, you know, because you ought to have that. Or if you even do like the tricep push-up too, you know, you jump, you know, jump, 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 or or uh, jump, 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 or hey. But anyway, there you have it. Uh, decided that that's another uh, lecture I wanted on my my bucket list over here, uh, and this is gonna be available to watch, even though. Uh, oh, you had the idea. <laughs>